Hey everyone, I'm Chris. I'm here to help you unravel the mysteries of tire sidewalls. Have you ever wondered what the numbers and letters on the sides of the tires mean? Well, buckle up. Both metric and flotation tires are used on vehicles, but they differ in their marking systems and intended use. Choosing the right tire depends on your vehicle and its needs. If you prioritize off-roading capability and ground clearance, flotation might be more suitable. If you need detailed specifications for different driving styles and vehicle types, metric is the way to go. And it's also more common in the marking system. And here's the breakdown. Metric tire sizes employ a code like 30540R22, conveying detailed information about the tire's height, width, and aspect ratio, as well as load capacity and speed rating. Now the letters in front, like P, LT, or even no letter at all, indicate the tire type. P stands for passenger car, while LT stands for light truck, and no letter at all might mean a European metric tire. It's like the tire's way of telling you, this is what I'm made for. In this case, 305 is wider, generally grippier with a larger contact patch, but it's also heavier. And next is the aspect ratio, 40 here, which is the sidewall height as a percentage of its width. Think tall and skinny versus short and stubby. Next is a letter for construction type. R means radial, which is the most common. And finally, the last two numbers are the diameter in inches. These are 22, for example, and of course, you need to make sure you match your wheels. Next up is the load index and speed rating. It's a combination of letters and numbers that tell you the load capacity and the speed rating. For example, 114V. The 114 represents the load index, which is how much weight the tire can handle. The higher the number, the more weight it can handle. V is the speed rating, which is the tire speed limit. It ranges from Q to Z, the Q being the slowest, while Z is the fastest. But unless you're planning to break some land speed records, you're probably good with anything between H and V. Flotation tire sizes keep it simple using just three numbers. Overall diameter, 33 inches. Section width, 1250. Wheel diameter, which is 22. This format prioritizes information directly relevant to off-roading and heavy duty usage in trucks, SUVs, and other similar vehicles. Focusing on ground clearance, width, and compatibility with wheels. Off-road tires with flotation sizes are specifically designed for rugged terrain and extreme conditions. They typically feature unique tread patterns and construction to deliver optimal performance in these demanding conditions. Sizes commonly used for off-road tires range from 31 to 44 inches in overall diameter. Unlike the millimeter-based metric system, flotation sizes directly use inches for all measurements, although metric equivalents might be available. For instance, a size like LT32565 R18 is similar to a 351350 R18 in flotation terms. Now let's break down the components of the Predator New Mutant XAT 331250 R22. The first number, 33, represents the tire's overall diameter in inches, while the second number is 1250, indicating the tire's width in inches. The letter R signifies the tire's internal construction type, specifically radial in this case. These are 22, for example, and of course, it represents the diameter of the wheel also in inches. Now those are the basics of the tire size, but there's more. You ever notice those funky looking numbers with the DOT acronym? Well, that's the Department of Transportation number, and it's kind of like the birth certificate for the tire. It tells you when and where it was manufactured, handy if you wanna know how old your tires might be, and so you can check if there's any recall. Sometimes you may see bonus information. MS, mud and snow symbol. It's a sign that your tire can handle a little bit of off-road action in winter conditions. 3P MSF, Three Peak Mountain Snowflake Certified. Perfect for tackling snowy terrains. Load range, for light trucks, this tells you how much weight it can handle with specific tire pressures. Max inflation, this is the highest pressure that you can safely pump into the tire and we should never exceed this number. Basically, the sidewall is like the tire's user manual. Follow these guidelines and you're gonna be good to go. And there you have it folks, reading a tire sidewall made easy. Now, you'll be cruising down the road with a whole new level of tire knowledge and understanding to help you choose which tire is right for your ride.